Hey everybody, this is Daryl at HudsonsCustomMachining.com I've got on the test bench today a little bipolar motor that was made by Kendrick and Davis back about 1890. You'll see there it says Porter Motor K and D, that's Kendrick and Davis. Number one is the size. <coughs> you can see here compared to my hand about how big this motor is. And I always thought these were six bolt motors, <coughs> but uh, at six volts, this thing really screams. So uh, just wanted to show you, <coughs> you've heard the term brushes on these little DC motors, uh, the brush that rides against the commutator. You can see back in the day, in the early days was just a, a strip of copper there's one across the bottom coming from this this side of the motor and then down on underneath there's another brush I don't know if I can get to it I don't think we're going to be able to see it but anyway there's another brush coming from this side that rubs the commutator just like this one's coming from this side going that way um, but these were what they called brushes because the the copper strip just brushed that uh, commutator as it spun around there so now we still call them brushes today even though they're not really brushes they're carbon so anyway i've got this hooked up to the variac here i'm dialed in about five volts on the variac but when the variac ac current goes into this bridge rectifier it doesn't convert ac to dc it's not exactly one to one um, so it may read five on here and only be two and a half or three uh, um, whenever we get to the output over here. So this DC uh, bridge rectifier is, I'm getting power from my AC variac going into this and the output of here, this is my cord that comes around and I've got alligator clips here, red and black, uh, connected to each terminal on the motor here. So I'm gonna put power on it and uh, We'll see where we're at on the on the volt meet, voltmeter over here. So that's about one and a half volts right there. That's a pretty good little speed. The motor's running pretty quiet and it's producing a nice little breeze at about 1.6 volts DC. So we'll dial this up just a little bit and we'll see what happens at about two volts. There's two and a half, three volts. You can see it's really screaming at three volts. So looks like somewhere right about two volts. Maybe about 1.75 if I can get it down. That's about a volt and a half. That's about a volt and a half right there and it's running nice and smooth, nice and quiet. That thing will really scream if you put six volts in it. Okay, that's all for now. Hope y'all enjoyed. Take care.